when you do tell people you're an artist, they, they're kind of like, oh, it's, it's almost like it's not a real job or they, it's, it's not taken seriously. But for me, when people, I constantly get, oh, live in the dream, that question um, or that comment really when I'm, I'm in my normal job. And when you turn around and say, yeah, they're a bit shocked, like, oh, you are living your dream. And I said, yeah, I, I'm an artist in my free time and I love it. Being in, indoors gets to me quite quickly. So, like, if I spend, you know, even like two or three days being indoors, it starts to affect my mental health because I'm so used to being outside at this point that uh, being indoors is affecting me in that way. And in that way, I value nature very highly because it, it really helps sort out my mind. Elijah during the lockdown, uh, he was quite bored in a sense, like running out of things to do, um, trying to keep him entertained, you know, and it is tough. He was, it was quite bad. And some days were just, it felt like they were going to go on for hours, never end. <laughs> John does play a massive role in getting him out because if we didn't actually sometimes take the steps to say, let's go out and do something, he's, he would be quite, you know, he'd sit on his phone and wouldn't do as much, so, yeah. Um, John has been one of the biggest forces and motivations to get him out some days. But I feel when he did get out and have the energy to move around, it was almost like there was a different kid, obviously, behind, you know, behind his eyes. He just got to go out and play, and it's almost like he wasn't so holed up on his phone and in the house. and. He's quite happy, forgets about everything else. Arranging objects is just something that I, I've always sort of been attached to, I guess. It made sense to go to land art because I can't just, can't always go around skips finding some rubbish to use, you know? I can, sometimes I could, I gotta just, go out and find material that's always available. It's a very therapeutic process, just placing stones in the sands or passing a rake through the sand. You know, you're there and you're in nature. You're like really immersed in it um, with the sounds of the waves. just gets you away from the stresses of everyday life, really. You know, you've got all the things you've got to deal with. Everybody knows all, all the things you've got to deal with in, in adult life. And uh, everyone has their ways of coping with it. I guess this is mine.
basically I use this creative process in nature to help escape the messiness of everyday life. So you just get that time out, it's something that everybody needs. So that's my version of it, I suppose. <laughs>